Here we are on the Blue Ridge Parkway at the Apple Orchard Falls Trail Parking. Got Gray Jay here behind me. And we're gonna be hiking up to the waterfall, which I think is about a mile or so. And then we will do the Appalachian Trail North up to Thunder Mountain Shelter, I believe on the way there we get to go by the FAA radar site, the big white golf ball looking thing. And the guillotine which should be fun. Alright, here we go. It's kind of surprising the parking was super duper full. Almost every spot on the paved area was filled. And then also the there's a bunch of dirt parking up there that's also almost full. So it's uh, a genuine overflow. Got a little ew, muddy sign area here. And a blue blaze trail off to where the uh, falls are, I think. A sign. Let's see. We're a little over halfway down and word on the street is there are 147 steps on the way down to the falls. I'm not going to count them. I trust the Girl Scouts did that we met up with. I'm sure they all counted them. They were very excited to tell us there were 147 steps. Oh yeah, it goes way up there. Yeah, it does. And it looks like it's a little bit of a big Uh-huh. Oh, that's where we're going. Oh, yeah, that's The stairs, they burn. That's a lot of stairs coming back out of there. 147. Not that we're counting. <laughs>
radar is probably camouflaged. It's so foggy out. We got to get to the top of the mountain. Grab the peak, do my peak bagging. Here. What do we have here? Oh yeah, Apple Orchard Mountain, 4225. So the tower appears to be above the building with the door in the clouds. Maybe we'll catch it on the way back tomorrow. But there's a ball. It's right there. I swear it's there. I can hear it humming, but I can't see it at all. Even with my eyes, it's totally invisible. I see like this little stick thing going up and then that's kind of it. Yeah, the tower is there. I see it. But there's no ball. No ball. So the FAA site was a total bust. No radar. I'm sure it was there, we just couldn't see it. Yeah, the guillotine's coming up next. So we'll see if that's visible. And Ooh, Thunder Ridge Wilderness. Get a peek at that sign real quick. And uh yeah, so the hike down to, what is it, Apple Orchard Falls? Is that what it was? Yeah. That was actually really worth it. We've done a lot of the waterfalls in Shenandoah National Park. And these falls were actually really impressive. It's worth the 1.1 uh, mile hike downhill to go see it and then come back up. If you have some time and you're hiking through, definitely recommend going down to see the falls. They are, uh, they're uh, awesome, in my opinion. Down, down, down. A little steep. Cool. Better stay lodged right there. So that was the guillotine. It's actually really cool too. And something super spooky about this area. Walking through here, we're sitting down resting, taking some pictures, and there is not a sound here. There's no wind, there's no dripping, there are no birds tweeting, there's no animals scurrying. It's kind of a creepy, cold, damp death. I wonder if it has anything to do with the rock. I don't know. But it's definitely weird. Shelter's about a mile ahead. That will probably be our end point for the day. We'll see when we get there. Shelter? Got shelter. So it's kind of not really raining, but it's raining foggy condensation. All right, there's our bear box. Oh, there's a shelter. Over here. So 
the Thunder Hill Shelter. What is this witchcraft? Aren't they cute? You carried those all this way? All the way. Boo. You're wet looking. I feel like Even I'm wet hasn't looking. Been raining. <laughs> I feel so wet we've got looking. a kind of a, a dorky fire pit that's kind of gooned up. And it's a standard six person shelter, which we won't be using. It's got a free sweatshirt in the back corner there. There's a broom. We'll sign the log later. Maybe a can of beans up in the corner there. And let's see. We'll let Quicksand evaluate the picnic tables. But this one is uh, wet. It is a wet <laughs> picnic table. So we're not going to be using that right now. And this has water to the right and privy to the left. So let's check the privy out first. It's not a bad shelter area. It's uh, kind of clean. A little lumpy. I haven't found good tent sites yet. So we'll have to look at those. Come up here. Flip the camera around so we can get a look at this. It's like a didgeridoo. Don't put your mouth on that. Oh. Oh, yeah. This is good. That's definitely a good shelter. It's got light, it's clean. It's got a little room. It's noisy, you can hear the motorcycles. I think that's an A minus, I like that one. No stink, a little mud around it. I'll give it the minus for the mud. So let's go check out the spring. And the spring is super convenient, very close to the shelter. And it's an old box type. And, oh, here's a frog. The frog is here. The frog. And it's flowing, see it's dripping right in that edge. Frog. Okay, we're going to get some water out of the spring, and I'm going to use this little device called a flow leaf, which I'm going to stick on the bottle. It goes like that. And what I can do with it is stick that end up into the flow so I don't have to like submerge my bottle and stuff, because uh, it's frog water, you know. Not that I'm going to filter it out or anything, but it looks fun. It's raining. And it's cold. And it's raining. <laughs> We're all dry in our tent. It's dry for now. Hopefully it doesn't fall down. What a difference a day makes. Last night it started raining. 
about 6.30 and it rained hard. There was supposed to be thunderstorms blow through. There were no, no thunder, but it was super duper windy and the rain just came down. It was super pouring until about 2, 2.30 a.m. So it was a long, super downpour. So we basically ate dinner, packed it in, and went in the tent. The, uh, I've been using the Z-Pax duplex for a while. It did not leak. Had a little bit of a, I wouldn't call it an issue, but a little bit of blowback under the one corner on the windward side where I got damned. But no drips, no puddles. And woke up in the morning to this crisp, cool, blue, bird-tweeting morning. So yeah, what a difference a day makes.